Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog because, oh boy, <laughs> it's been a rough week, a rough couple of weeks, uh, at least at work, and then there was uh, other things uh, I needed to talk to you about. Uh, I probably won't do the complaining about work because a lot of it's stuff I can't complain about uh, publicly yet until it's resolved. So, um, let's get on to the channel stuff. Um, Sid Meier's Pirates, that series. Um, the problem that we've run into on the, you know, playthrough we're doing for the LP apparently also afflicted my side profile. Um, it was a different pirate, but it is causing a lack of them to show up on the map entirely, for lack of a better phrase. Um, I don't know why it affects this game so much, but it happens a lot. So... I'm having to start over with a brand new file <laughs> to try and do that. Um, I'm going to try and get to the same point as we were, but some things in that game can take a while. So it'll probably take me a while to be able to show you guys that section. So that game might be on hiatus for a while, unfortunately. I hate to say it. So, just warning you guys now, that might be what you're looking forward to, at least when it comes to the Sid Meier's Pirates playthrough. Ah, uh, wow, my hair's a mess. Holy shit. <laughs> you can tell I just got out of bed, folks. Um... What else was there? Um, there was other games I wanted to bring back, uh, especially since uh, Sid Meier's Pirates will be having to go on the back burner for a time being. But um, there was also a new game that uh, had come out that I was kind of on the fence about uh, playing on the channel, but uh, it seems fun. It seems a hell of a lot of fun, and quite frankly, I might do it anyway. <laughs> um, especially since it kind of scratches the itch that I wanted out of the game that started this genre. But it's still kind of a little janky a little bit still. But I can put up with the jank because the game is, in my opinion, pretty damn good. Uh, but unfortunately with that genre, uh, and I'll tell you in a second, that genre tends to make me rage a little bit. <laughs> And then trying to play the game with the LP tax as well. The LP tax on your brain. Um, might be difficult. And you guys might see me rage a couple of times. So fair warning. That is what you'll be looking forward to. But that said... <sighs> almost yawned. Wouldn't have been a good look. But, the game genre, I guess I'll start there. Game genre is the Schluter genre. Uh, the shoot and loot sort of play style that was popularized by Destiny. Who'd have thunk it? Um, that actually is a fun 
sort of game genre for me. Um, Destiny, I feel, gets way too grindy. Way too annoying with the grindy. Uh, and does not provide you enough opportunity to customize the play style you want in that game. I mean, I understand some of it has to be for PvP balancing, but even then, it doesn't feel like it tries to give you that opportunity. So I've dropped Destiny uh, in the past, and I hoped Destiny 2 would be better, and it wasn't. So, well, it wasn't near the end of it my time with it, so I dropped that as well. But, y'all probably know what game I'm going to be talking about then. Outriders has been fun, at least my experience with it. Um, yes, I know about the jank issues. Uh, I have not run into the majority of the bad ones. Uh, I have not run into that alleged inventory clearing bug um mainly because i've not i've probably not hit far enough uh for <laughs> that sort of thing to be affecting me um i'm i'm usually taking my time outside of recording to be playing it and that does slow down my progress into the story a bit especially since i'm kind of the sort of guy who will do the side content uh, before the main content uh, as much as I can. Usually, especially in this sort of thing, it will gear me up so I can handle the newest stuff that comes along. Um, I'll cut that yawn part out so you, don't, you guys don't have to see and hear that. So <laughs> then you guys don't start yawning. Um It is very fun. The issues I've run into are usually uh, user-induced, um, where I'm just bad, uh, <laughs> and I need to get good, but uh, it is a very fun experience, I've found, and character customization isn't exactly top tier, but... Um, it is, you know, it's what it is, considering, and I do like the game. Um, story is, I've been hearing people complain that the story is kind of barely there, and it feels to me like they're not reading the info that the game gives you, uh, outside of, you know, the cutscenes and everything else you'll run into. Um, because it gives you a lot of backstory to a lot of things pretty much right there uh, in the game. You don't have to do side shit associated with the game to try and figure out more of the lore. The lore is kind of presented to you in a way that you can just come back to it later and, you know, read it. And some people I don't think are actually doing that. <laughs> Makes me think that they're just trying to blaze through the game and just focus mainly on the gameplay's uh, or what's the word I'm looking for uh, presentation. There we go of the story, rather than uh, everything else in side content and notes and what the game will tell you. As you run into things. Um, that said. I mean I do. I do admit sometimes the writing is a little. Mm, cliche. But then again. Given what the game is about. Not really. You know. Not really much you can do about it. There is. There is. There is an overarching story that I do feel is a breath of fresh air, a little bit, <laughs> and this sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, I think I've 
meandered off of my point enough that I can't, I would be going into spoilers uh, <laughs> if I talk more about it. So I think I have gotten my point across that I do like this game. I will ramble about it for a while. So uh, yeah, I will probably be making a new character to be doing for the LP eventually. Um, I will probably do the prologue as well because it goes, does guys does give us a good uh, <laughs> good primer into what the story is going to be about. So uh, there's that. Anyway, that's enough of me ranting about Outriders, and it is a lot longer of a vlog than I usually do. Okay. Alrighty, so I think I'll end the episode here for right now. <laughs> um, mainly because uh, I've mainly talked about a game and the fact I'm going to bring it to the channel and the other shenanigans with uh, a series that I already have on the channel uh, that will take a while to get back to. Hopefully, if I do things right, that series should be back within the end of the month, I think. Maybe. I hope. So. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Click this. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Mm. Anyway. I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. And, uh... I don't know, get ready for work like I was planning on doing and uh, get pants on <laughs> as part of that because kind of need pants for work. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs> it still amazes me I'm still able to do that. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and ranting about Outriders and how good of a game I think it is. Uh, I wouldn't call it top tier, but it gives you what you don't get out of Destiny. And I personally cannot recommend it enough. Uh, it is a little janky, but you can deal with it. And... Uh, Sid Meier's Pirates will be sitting on the back burner for longer than I thought, but it shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, if I did it once, I will be able to do it again. Probably. I'm hoping the game will cooperate this time for you.